from Austin, Texas, this is ECW. Since becoming ECW champion, Christian has been earning the respect of his peers night in and night out. It's been truly a dominant reign. Sure, he's respected, but everyone is also gunning for him as ECW champion. Respect is one thing. Walking around with a target on your back is another altogether. Christian is definitely the biggest target on ECW. Who's taking aim at him tonight? You're a fellow Canadian, but that doesn't mean I won't use you as a stepping stone. Tonight, I'll show the world that I've arrived by beating you for the ECW Championship. You're determined, kid. I'll give you that. Look, determination and a dollar can buy you a cup of coffee. Though probably not in Canada. But I'll tell you what. Since you're Canadian and part of a great WWE lineage, you'll get three minutes of my time tonight. And let's see if you can make it that long. We're nearing the end of the allotted three minutes. What happens if they go over? Who knows? I don't think Christian oh. thought that far ahead. Watch it. Wasn't it a little arrogant for Christian to say he would only need three minutes to beat Tyson? People as successful as Christian aren't arrogant. They're confident. Big difference. The three minutes is up. But this match continues. Who is going to emerge victorious? The three minutes is up. But this match continues. Who is going to emerge victorious? Kick, finish, Christian. This is it. Here he goes. Kill switch. This one's over. We're nearing the end of the allotted three minutes. What happens One, if they go over? Two, Who knows? Three. I don't think Christian thought that far ahead. by Christian. In less than three minutes, he showed why he's ECW champion. You can barely tie your shoes at that time. Christian overwhelmed Tyson Kidd. Who's left in the ECW locker room that can possibly stop him? It's a dream come true being the ECW champion. But I have to admit, I'm getting kind of bored. I'm wondering if there's anyone in the locker room who will step up and give me a challenge. My hearing must be off, Sunshine. Did I just hear you say that you're lacking challenges? You must have been knocked in the head one too many times if you've forgotten about me. No, Regal. I haven't forgotten about you. Though my usual policy is to forget about anyone I've beaten more than a dozen times. Clever. Very clever. Care to back up those confident words? Tonight, 
I'll give you the thrashing you so desperately deserve. Hey, sounds like a main event to me. A very one-sided, everyone knows I'm gonna win main event, but a main event nonetheless. You're here, Christian. Look, I know you've beaten Regal on numerous occasions in the past. I also know they've always been competitive matchups. Well, aside from the fact that I'm pretty much always the victor, yeah. <laughs> but to spice things up, I'm going to have your title defense tonight to be held under extreme rules. Okay. Hey, you're the boss. That means Regal's in for a rough night. Look, I know full well Regal might have something up his sleeve but I also know you can handle yourself. I never get tired of seeing these two square off. And the ECW Championship being on the line makes it even more intriguing. Not to mention the potential for chaos, with it being extreme rules. Watch it. He's got him. He's looking to fly. Oh, gosh. Careful. Careful. Great counter. Yow! Uh. Ah. Regal seemed really motivated tonight, interrupting Christian's interview time. You don't get what you want in life by simply watching from the side. Christian sends him out. Look out! What a move by the champ! He's looking to put his opponent away right here! The champ does it! Christian seems to have momentum in his favor. But being under extreme One, rules, two, momentum can shift in a heartbeat. Three. And Christian holds on to the title. Christian pulls out the victory over William Regal. ECW champion is on an epic roll, but he got one heck of a challenge from Regal tonight. But once again, Christian asserts his dominance over the ECW landscape. Christian is looking utterly unstoppable.
ECW is coming to you live from Provo, Utah. It's cold outside, but the action is red hot in here. I had a great day of skiing here in Utah, and I can't wait to cap it off, ECW style. I don't think the Hart Dynasty share your jovial attitude, partner. I saw them before the show, and they had iceberg-sized chips on their shoulders. Christian, just the man I was looking for. What can I help you with, Hurricane? Well, Christian, you are a champion. That I am. And I am a superhero. Uh, not really. But go on. So, as a champion of the people, I would like to challenge the champion of ECW to a foot race. Yeah. Look, I'm gonna have to say thanks, but no thanks on that one. Excellent. From here to the arena entrance and back to your locker room. Ready? Go! Wait, no! You gotta be kidding me. You got lucky against Tyson two weeks ago. Yeah, we're tired of you walking around like you own the place. So you've had some wins lately. You don't have our ability or our pedigree. I also don't have to gang up on people I know I can't take one-on-one. -on -one. But since you guys share one brain, it only makes sense you'd come back here together. It's not our fault your crummy attitude has alienated everyone on the ECW roster. Remember that when you're trying to tie your shoes with two broken arms. The only way you're leaving this room is on a stretcher. Don't think you've won yet, Christian. Oh! 
Did I win the race? Sort of. Are you okay? Yeah. Listen, thanks for taking care of those guys. If you need anything, just call. what happened. Christian, I'm so sorry. Please, take the rest of the night off. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to ECW in front of a packed house here at Jacksonville, Florida. The big news last week concerns an apparent locker room scuffle involving the Hart Dynasty and ECW champion Christian. I'm assuming Christian's okay because I'm told we'll have a return to the peep show tonight. What if he's hurt and needs a guest host? I should let him know I'm available. Welcome to my peep show. Well, I call it mine, but apparently, I'm not allowed to choose my own guests. So without further ado, I just get the hell in the ring already, whoever you are. Surprised to see me, player? Well, I'm surprised at how complacent you've become in ECW. I mean, you know, you look downright bored, Christian. My dominance in ECW notwithstanding. What are you doing here, Teddy? You're not here to evaluate my job performance. I'll cut right to it then. You've been traded, player. Now, after the Royal Rumble, you're Pete's, and I will be watching you perform on my show. Welcome to SmackDown. You couldn't have told me about the trade in private? You had to save the surprise for the peep show? Look, I'm sorry. It just came together at the last minute. And I thought surprising you made for a better television moment. Sure, whatever. So what are the plans from now until I'm on SmackDown? Well, to get you and the rest of ECW in the Rumble mood, we're holding a battle royal tonight. If you win, you can pick your opponent for the Royal Rumble. If someone else wins, 
you have to defend the ECW Championship against them on Sunday at the Royal Rumble. Christian's time in ECW is coming to a very surprising end. ECW is going to miss Christian, but he better not take his focus off the task at hand. Watch it. Oh, look out! Ah. Ah, look at this! Hey! Regal's been eliminated. Look at this! Just raw, unmitigated power. There goes Finley. Watch it. That was like a freight train. Uh-oh. Watch it. David Hart Smith's heading back to the locker room. There goes your gold standard. Three eliminations. He's making his presence felt in this match. Christian gets the victory. In his final appearance on ECW, Christian walks away victorious. He's leaving ECW on a high note, that's for sure. What about the ECW Championship? We'll have to learn its fate at the Royal Rumble, Sunday, on pay-per-view. Christian, here you are. Since you won the Battle Royal on Tuesday, I need to know who you're going to defend your championship against in your final ECW match. I'm glad you asked, Tiffany. I've given this a lot of thought, and I'm gonna go with... <laughs> William Regal will be glad to hear that. Of course, if you beat him again, I'm never going to hear the end of it. You'd better go and get ready. Live from our nation's capital, we welcome you to the Royal Rumble. Few other events get the entire WWE Universe buzzing, both fans and superstars, quite like this. And along with the 30-man Royal Rumble match, Another contest getting a lot of buzz is what will likely be Christian's final ECW championship title defense.
break. Christian, I don't think you know what you're getting yourself into. ECW is no SmackDown, and you're no Dolph Ziggler. You're at the back of the line now, and I'm gonna make sure you stay there. He's keeping his distance, but the distraction alone may be enough to impact the match. Look at this! What's he up to here? Again, this isn't a no disqualification match. Anything that comes out from under that ring could cost him the match. Regal makes the cover. One, two, three. And Regal is crowned the champion. We have a new ECW champion. I guess Dolph Ziggler declared himself the SmackDown welcome wagon. And that wagon ran right over Christian. What repercussions will await his return to SmackDown? Well, I can think of a couple ways I would have preferred to close the ECW chapter of my career. But even still, I'm very proud of what I've been able to accomplish in the land of extreme. I want to thank ECW's general manager, as well as the superstars of ECW. Even if some of them got on my nerves sometimes. Most of all, I couldn't have done it without my peeps. I expect big things on SmackDown. And I expect you all to join me every Friday night. I vow to make that show the new and improved peep show. And my first order of business will be paying back that goof, Dolph Ziggler. Ladies and gentlemen, Former ECW Champion, Future SmackDown Superstar, Christian! This signifies a new era, both for Christian and ECW. We'd like to thank Christian for all his great work here at ECW and wish him continued success on SmackDown. Make sure you tune in Friday night to see what awaits Captain Charisma.